Hey everyone, I'm finally going to do my post-sack anime winter vlog, even though it was about over a month ago, but I'm going to basically talk about that now. This sack anime was not nearly as amazing as Sack Summer, as you all know that sack anime was one of the best I've ever been to over all the sack animes, and this time it was, it was fun, it just was not as eventful as Sack Summer for me. Personally, Friday I think was the best day because I did my Disney Princess Wreck-It Ralph 2 group and we had a lot of fun even though not everyone showed up for the group but we had a good number anyways and we got a lot of great photos and we had a lot of fun at the Disney gathering and just had a fun time just hanging out with each other and everything. So that was fun and then... The rest of the day I just did Sheeta from Laputa and a couple people loved my outfit and everything and that was the end of that and I did go to the swap meet that night as well. I threw on my Totoro Kigu for a bit that night and then went to the swap meet and I was looking through stuff. I was mainly looking for a Natsume wig to get there but I ended up not being able to find one so I just got one on eBay and that actually came yesterday. So, but enough about that. I was looking for one at the swap meet, and I couldn't find one that would work for him, so I just said, eh, screw it. But I was still looking anyway. I did see a few things that kind of caught my interest or my eye, but I wasn't, like, sure about getting them or not. I saw a Demix plush, and I was thinking of getting it, but I decided not to, because it looked kind of a bit grungy or something like it looked well loved I'll say that um and I'm a little picky when buying used stuff kind of I don't know that's just me but I would have gotten him if he was a bit more like in good condition but I mean he was he was in pretty decent condition but just well loved and everything and I just passed it up just cuz I did get something else though something that I saw it was one of the first things I saw and I was like do I want him I'm not sure it was a really cheap item I was amazed it was so cheap and I had not seen it elsewhere before like I, I knew there were items of this character out there like especially plushes and stuff but I had not seen this plush before and I was like well if I like this character more I would of course now after that, I've grown to love this character a lot more than I have before. Mainly because I played another game from this specific series, or from this one in the series, that he's more in. I guess I should just get to the point before I start not be not being able to explain this well. What I got was this Sephiroth plush at the swap meet, and it only costed me three bucks for this plush. I was amazed. At first it was only four, and I was going to get it for that anyway, but they said, we'll give it to you for three, and I was like, okay. So I, I just snatched him last minute. Like, I saw him at first, and I thought, no, I'm not that big of a Sephiroth fan. Then, like, I left the swap meet and kind of just sat out there because I was, like, just chilling and resting up and stuff because I was kind of tired and didn't want to go back to my room yet. And then I was thinking... You know what? Maybe I should go back and get that plush. If it's still there, I'll go grab it. So I went back in and it was still there. I'm surprised no one else bought him because of the price and because it's Sephiroth. I don't know, but I bought him and I'm so glad I did. And buying him made me want to like go back to Final Fantasy VII. But not Final Fantasy VII. I had been wanting to play Crisis Core for a while. And I finally started playing that. It's a lot of fun. I think I like it more than 7 itself. Just because Crisis Core is easier to play. Or like... For me it's easier to play. I don't know. I guess I like the style of Crisis Core more. But I just... I really love Crisis Core. And it made me really like Sephiroth. Because you get to see Sephiroth before he goes evil. And you know, just... I love Sephiroth before... He does a 180 and turns crazy and everything. I just, I love that Sephiroth, but, you know, things happen and he goes crazy. Anyways, but yes, I am now glad that I 
snatch this plush off. So that was my Friday. Then Saturday, I basically just chilled and hung out with friends and everything. I was going to meet some voice actors that day, but I decided to put that off till Sunday because I just wanted a chill day. And I basically spent that day or focused on hosting the Bungo Stray Dogs Gathering, which was a lot of fun. I decided to have it held inside because I didn't want to risk being out in the rain. It was not raining at the time of my gathering, but during the gathering, it was raining outside. It started to rain, so I'm glad I moved it inside. We were given that option if we wanted to use inside in the cosplay lounge for our gatherings, and I'm like, I'm not going to risk doing it outside and having it rain on us mid-gathering. So I did the smart thing and held it inside. Everyone seemed to be okay with that. I had, I had some help migrating all the Bungo cosplayers to our new location, and we still had a pretty good turnout. Got lots of good photos of that gathering, and it was super, super fun. I'm so glad I got to host it and see lots of Bungo cosplayers, and yeah, it was so much fun. That was basically my highlight of Saturday. Sunday, I spent meeting my the voice actors I wanted to meet. I met Eric Fail. I met Chris Waycamp. I know how to say his last name now because he, um... He has it on like his Twitter or something, how you pronounce his last name, so I finally know how. I don't know why it took me so long, but yes, Chris Waycamp, Eric Fail. Oh, and I finally got to meet Lucy Christian. I have been wanting to meet her for so, so long. They finally got her at SAC Anime. I finally got to meet her. And she is the sweetest voice actor, or one of the sweetest voice actors. But she was like so sweet to everyone, and she, you know, talked with fans a bit and stuff and it was so great she loved the negima manga that i had her sign and she was like oh i love asuna and she was just so happy and so sweet and just i love her so much she's a doll and i loved meeting eric Bale and chris waycamp chris waycamp is also talkative with his fans we chatted a bit about ace attorney things and edgeworth and stuff and he says how he's like wanting to play the games and whatnot and you know it's just, we, we talked a bit, and that was that was awesome and fun. He signed my Ace Attorney manga. And I'm sad I was not able to get Edgeworth done for him, but that's okay. Sometime in the future, maybe. But he's a really sweet person to meet, and I'm glad I got to meet him. And Eric Bale, too. He was nice. He wasn't as talkative as the other two, but that's okay. He was still nice, and I loved finally meeting him as well. I hope he returns to Fruits Basket and does Yuki again. I heard... Today they announced that Laura Bailey is going to voice Toru again, and I'm so glad. I hope they can get some of the original cast, if they can't get all of them, at least the main characters. I really hope Eric Bale returns for Yuki and all the others return. If Chris Sabat returns as Ayame, that would be great. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited for the Fruits Basket remake, and it looks so good. Anyway, so that was basically all of my SAC anime. Yeah, Sunday I just basically met voice actors and roamed the dealer's hall, blah, blah, blah. I bought a few other things besides Sephiroth. I did get a keychain for my Shoda bag. It's actually in my Shoda bag right now, so I'm unable to show it. But it's just basically a Shoda keychain from Idol Master, you know. And I think that was all I purchased. Oh, I did get... And I got Atsushi, unfortunately. Not that I don't like Atsushi, it's just I was hoping for Julia, of course, or Desai, or whatever. It was, it was, um, a Dead Apple blind box, so it was, you know, characters from the Dead Apple movie. So, it had those, or those variants, but, and the one I got was Atsushi. It's still pretty cute. I love how they look like Tsum Tsums. They are just so cute. I want to collect these. And, yeah, and I did also get a Bungo poster. It's up on my wall. You can probably see it from here with, with Desai and Chuya. I got that poster for my little shrine over there of Bungo goodness and Chuya goodness. Um, but yeah, I think that's all the things I purchased. Anyway, so yeah, that was it for that con and I'm glad I got to meet the voice actors I did. There was one other voice actor I really wanted to meet, but sadly I could not I was going to meet him right after I met Lucy Christian on Sunday, but he left early because nobody was at his table, and I was really sad. It was Chris Patton. I had wanted to meet him because he also did voices in anime I watched 
back in high school. And I was sad I didn't get to meet him because of that. And I'm sad that no one was at his table at that time. There were three voice, only three voice actors signing then. It was Chris Patton, Lucy Christian, and Vic Mignogna. Don't get me started on him. I'm not here to talk about that, but let me just say I am on the Kick Vic side. If you're on the Stand With Vic side, get off my channel now, or else I will throw you out personally. But enough about that. I'm just really sad that nobody was at Chris's table and I felt so bad for him because I just wanted to show my love for him when no one else was because, like, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure he had fans go up to him throughout the weekend, so hopefully he wasn't, like, lonely the whole weekend. But I really wish I could have gone over there, but I was in line for Lucy Christian and her line was taking a while, so I felt bad, but... You know, at least I wasn't in Vic's stupid line. Oh my god. I would never be in his line ever again. I met him way, way back in 2010. That's it. You know, that was almost 10 years ago. And although I did see him again in 2012 when I went to his panel with an ex-friend. But not, not anymore. I was never crazy about him. And... I don't know why people are. Yes, I get that his fangirls are crazy for him because he's quote-unquote more affectionate than other guests or, or voice actors. But that's just him being creepy, I mean. You know, but I'm glad Funimation dropped him. I'm just gonna say that much. But yeah. Right now, I think my favorite voice actor is Quentin Flynn, but that should be obvious. I adore him so much, and I want to meet him again. I kind of miss him, actually. I, ha I hate to admit, but yeah. It's just, I adore him so much. And everything. He actually did reply to one of my tweets last month when I tweeted a photo of me and my Reno cosplay, and I got an Axel figure from Stockton Con. And he was like, oh, I love your Reno cosplay, and I was like... Anyways, but yeah, I, I adore Quentin. Go give him love. He he just, you know, did Lee in Kingdom Hearts 3, which came out, and oh my god, well, I wasn't able to play it. I did watch all the cutscenes, and it is, oh my god, so beautiful. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I loved it so much. Oh my god, Quentin did an amazing job as Lee, of course, and Axel, and everyone returned to voice their characters. I love that Jesse McCartney did Roxas and Ventus again. I love Jesse a lot. As you probably know, I would love to meet him again someday. I haven't met him since, oh my god, over 10 years ago. Back when he was, you know, a solo singer after his Dream Street career. But yeah, I'm so glad that Jesse has stuck with me for a long time. Whether it's Dream Street, solo singing, or Kingdom Hearts. You know, Jesse's always been there. He does still sing, though, of course, but I mean, like, back when he did Beautiful Soul and stuff, I remember meeting him at a radio station back in, what, 2004, I think? So long ago, even before he did Roxas, holy crap. But yeah, I, I love Jesse, and I love Quentin, and all the other voice actors. Oh yeah, they did get someone else for Kyrie. Hayden Panettiere does not voice her anymore. Sad. But that's okay, the, the new voice actress does a really good job voicing Kyrie. And stuff. I can't say anything else because I'll spoil it, but I'm just saying that Kingdom Hearts 3 is a great game. It was worth the wait for those who are playing it and watching it. Anyway, so yes, that is all for now, and I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully I have other videos posted before this because I have some I need to post. I've been procrastinating. I apologize. I've just been kind of getting stuff done, like sewing stuff, trying to get costumes up for sale because I need to clear those out. Some I don't wear anymore, so I'm trying to get those sold and everything. So, yeah, I will see you guys next time. So, bye!